Oh, yes, I remember you, correct? How can I help you? I'm here to help you, Doc. I'm here to help you keep all that cosmetic work intact. I can't imagine we have anything to talk about, sir. I fully cooperated with you last we spoke. Well, maybe that's on me. Not asking the right questions. You and Chizani, girls, human trafficking, you do their implants, nose jobs. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm a psychiatrist. With a secondary concentration in reconstructive surgery. You, Chizani, Casper, you went back farther than you made out. The girls spill. Your compensatory projection of menace is a guarantor of its lack. And it says something about the depths of your misperceptions. <laughs> Seeing you pop a few stitches might start to make up for it. Pin-eyed motherfucker. Hooker parties. What you'd call affluent men. Gasper attended. Go. I just do work on girls. Make eights into tens. Make sure they have the proper prescriptions. That's it. <laughs> The party's the same place, a conclave for men of influence. Talk motivations, or I'll dig into that face left and yank. Casper concocted the idea of the parties with Tony Cesani. Tony's a pimp with political ambition. His father doesn't participate in the gatherings. Tony's service makes him friends with those men of affluence you mentioned. Lays the groundwork for deals that Casper facilitated. What else? I, I think both men use the occasion to compile potential blackmail material on their guests. Rumored Ben had footage of various important people. McCandless, who is the president of Santa Clara Railroad Company, and small enough called Catalyst. You go back with it, Chizani. You put his first wife in a mental hospital. I did everything. I did everything. Well, I did everything I could for the line. Certain traditions that the Chisani patriarch she had a difficult time with. Uh, you might say a highly inventive family. 